from Mrs. Rina Skokon. Hope you all are doing great, right? Yes. So my next few videos are on max concepts like big and small, ascending and descending order, how to teach greater and smaller number to your tiny one. And this is my previous video which I have already uploaded that is about how to teach after and before number. Please go through this video also. Today's topic is how to introduce big and small number or how to teach big and small number to your tiny one. I'm going to introduce a step by step methods to teach this concept. Please go through it. Before introducing this big and small concept, just check whether your child is thorough with the number value. If your child is thorough with number value, you can skip this portion and go directly to the big and small concept or if not, please come along with me. I'll show you what is it exactly. So what is number value? For each number, it has their own value. For example, number one. Here we have an object of number one. It has only one value. Another example, here we have a bunch of six grapes. So number six has a value of six objects. Anything in six. So how do you check that? Yes, you can ask your child to bring a number of objects. You can give any number and ask your child to bring that particular number. If your child is able to count and pick the exact number of value, that means he is thorough with number value. And you can proceed the concept of big and small number. Now let's see how to introduce big and small number. Step number one, it's comparison. We should give exercise or activity in such a way that there should be a comparison between big and small number. I'll show you how to do that. Here we have a grape wine and bunch of grapes. When you want to introduce big and small number, generally what happens? We will ask our children to identify the big number and then to the small. But I tried the different way which is really easy. So I asked my children to find out the smallest number here i'm going to show the objects the bunch of graves and i ask them to find out the bunch which has very very less number of grapes so it's very easy for them to find out the less number right than comparing with the big number or the more number and tell them that less number means few numbers less is the small small number then after that Step number two, count and write the numbers below it. So when they count, here it is number one, number two, number three, number four. So they start comparing. Yes, number four is more than number one. By seeing the picture, they can easily compare. Compare with the number as well as the object and they could easily find out which one has more. More means big number and very less few few means it's a less or a small number so it's easy for our kids to understand the concept by making them giving a picture like this so after giving this picture comparison you can ask your child to do some activities on circle the big number or color the small number or arrange the number big to small or arrange the number in small to big like that you can give so many activities after that now the real challenge comes when we introduce two digit numbers right and as well as only the numbers when you ask your child to compare the number and find out which is smallest one smallest number and which is the biggest number there they are finding little difficulty now how to do that here i'm going to use the same bunch of grapes the numbers are 23 18 and 35. Here I have a bunch of grapes. 10. Right? A bunch of 10 grapes. 10 grapes. And another bunch of 10 grapes. So we have two bunches of grapes 10 and 10 20 and i have three more grapes 
here we have 10 10 and 3 it is 23 i'm going to draw another bunch of grapes here for 18 a bunch of grapes here one bunch okay 10 and 8 right here 20 and 3 10 23 here 10 and 8 more bunches 1 2 3 8 grapes so one bunch of grapes it is full of 10 and 8 and here we have number 35 so we should draw three bunches of grapes plus five. One bunch. Here I'm going to draw the second bunch. It's 20. So one bunch of grape means it's 10 grapes. And the third bunch. Third one. Since the number is 3, we are going 3, we are drawing 3rd one, 3rd and now 5, right? 1, 2, 3, 3 bunches of grapes and plus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now I ask your child to come back, which bunch of, which number has more bunch of grapes? It's very easy, right? It's very easy and they will find out the number. 35 has more number of grapes so that is the big number and with the number which has very few grapes that is the smaller number so initially we should give pictures like this and you can compare the pictures again and make them understand the concept of big and small number give them more activity like this till they are thorough with the number concept and number big number and small number concept so hope this video is going to be a useful one for you thank you take care bye bye